So what's the difference between Claude 3 AI and ChatGPT4? This isn't your average David and Goliath story. It's a clash of the titans in the realm of artificial intelligence. In this video, I will talk about five tests that were conducted between them. One, creating spreadsheet formulas. Two, summarizing text. Three, providing factual information. Four, composing an email. And five, riddles and reasoning. But before we continue, let me introduce myself to you. I am your host, and you can call me the Techie Guy. Currently, I am working as a data analyst. I have a love for any tech-related updates, and I love to create and share these kinds of videos with you as well. So I would request you to hit that like and subscribe button for more updates. Your support helps the YouTube algorithm to suggest our videos to more tech-enthusiastic people like you and me. Thanks for understanding. All done? Now let's continue, shall we? In the first test, I asked ChatGPT and Claude to generate a spreadsheet formula for me. This is the request I sent. Column B contains a set of values. I want to match them with the corresponding values of column E in sheet filter down, and take the matching values from columns F, G, and H in filter down across to the current sheet using a formula. Here's how Claude got on. Claude has tried to make one simple multi-purpose formula that uses where it is placed in the sheet to work out what to do, which is cool, but it probably not going to work as quickly and will probably be broken, to be honest, says Matthew Bentley, Tech Co's resident, spreadsheet whiz. There's no need to overcomplicate simple requests, he continued. ChatGPT for this one I think is better. It's quite a simple VLOOKUP request and doesn't require all that extra formula provided by Claude. Here in this case, ChatGPT wins. In the second test, both ChatGPT and Claude are highly capable of summarizing large amounts of text, pulling out the key points so their users don't have to read the whole thing. For this test, I asked them to summarize a recent Guardian article about President Joe Biden's final State of the Union address. Claude did a really good job of keeping its summary short. Chat GPTs are more than satisfactory too, but if we're going to split them, I'm going to have to say I prefer Claude's. It doesn't attempt to overload you with too much information, which is important, considering we asked for a summary. And once again, it's just better written. In this test, Claude 3 wins. For the third test, I wanted to see how good Chat GPT and Claude were at providing an answer to a question that isn't necessarily clear cut, but is still grounded in fact. So I asked both of them to explain how and why the dinosaurs died out, something for which there are several historical and scientific explanations and factors. First, Claude provides a really good overview of the theories and generally accepted truths about the extinction of the dinosaurs. Claude again provides an incredibly articulate explanation, which includes pretty much all of the same information as ChatGPT. It just sets it out and talks about it in a better way. It also references the fact that the dinosaurs didn't all die out at once, an important point that ChatGPT didn't include. Here I found Claude 3 wrote the better answer. In this test, I asked ChatGPT and Claude to compose an email to my boss, explaining why I should be allowed to transition to fully remote work. Claude wrote a perfectly serviceable email, as you can see. However, ChatGPT sounds more professional, and you'd have to do a lot of editing before you send that over to your boss. Claude dives into the stress the commute has supposedly caused me, and while that's worth mentioning, ChatGPT's introduction is a lot more diplomatic. Considering how close ChatGPT's answer is to the finished article, I have to crown it the winner of this one. For this last test, I asked the two chatbots to solve a riddle. Here is the prompt. A wealthy family lived in a big circular house. They had a maid, a butler, and a gardener. The parents were going to a party, so they tucked the younger kids into bed, kissed them goodnight, and said goodbye, and kissed the older kids goodnight. When the parents came home, all the kids were gone. They had been kidnapped. The authorities asked the butler, maid, and gardener what they were doing at the time of the kidnapping. The butler says he was organizing the library, the maid says she was dusting the corners, and the gardener says he was watering the plants. Who's lying and kidnapped the kids? Claude's up first and was spot on with its answer, explaining clearly why the maid is the culprit. Chad GPT also got the riddle correct, but it needed some tweaks, so there's nothing to separate them in this regard. Hence, it is a tie. So after testing both of them, I found that both of them are better in some or another way. The scores are tied based on these five tests, which is pretty impressive. But I think one can overcome the other in the coming days. If you ask about my opinion, I will consider ChatGPT for now, as I have been using it for almost a year now. Well, if you want to check out our more videos, then click on the videos shown on the screen. And do hit that like and subscribe button if you found this helpful. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.